Yeah, it's actually a bad thing though because <laughs> it means you've got to come Monday with either a joke or a rev up for the rest of the group and I'm, it's really not my forte so I didn't really want to win it today but uh, it was a good session. It was, it was tough, like you'd have downpours for five or ten minutes making it real slippery and then sort of the heat and sweat coming in when it wasn't raining so uh, a bit like Maroochydore where we're going next week I think so it's um, yeah, it's a good little prep for that. What's the plan um, up there? What's the reason for going Well, we it's sort of changed over the last few years but pretty much it's going now. It's where we go into a full football program where it's three sessions of footy um the whole focus is on those three sessions being performance day so we treat them like a game almost a lot of match play and then we sort of cut back the rest of the stuff that's there we'll do our weights we'll have some meetings but we probably almost have less contact time than we do when we're here at amy park and the idea is to focus on the football be in a different environment uh stress us with the heat um humidity that sort of thing but the focus is on having three really good footy sessions and and then a bonus is spending time with other groups other guys in the in the houses we stay in so it's not actually a a huge uh time commitment in terms of we've got a lot of spare time when we're there um and that's that's what the reason is so we can really focus on the footy and is the club trying anything different this pre-season as compared to last year or years before we've probably built up a little bit differently i think in years past, at this stage, we'll be into some real match play, game play sort of drills. I think today we maybe did 10, 15 minutes of it at the most, and the rest of it was still bits and pieces of game play. Um, I reckon in years past where we haven't played finals, you've had a lot more time to get ready and you're sort of ready to play a bit sooner. I think this year we've deliberately tried to pull it back a bit, get a bit more conditioning in, a bit more running, which we generally think is a bit safer, um, less likely to get injured when you're doing conditioning than you are in a match play sort of drill. So. That's probably been the main difference is um, is the build-up time and it's probably from now where we're starting to get in some real game mode before we have our pre-season games. And there's only two of them this year, so it's a bit quicker. And do you have any personal goals for 2019 or has the club talked about, um, you know, um, not, not specific, uh, really specific goals. The whole idea has been just to find self-improvement and then that'll lead to team improvement. Um, We've really broken down a lot of the game into the role you play and the position you play and how that all affects the rest of the team. So for me personally, I'm working with Tim Smith, uh, Wiedemann, Joel Smith, and we're working a lot on just our forward craft as a key forward and what it involves, breaking that down to the very little f basics of footwork, using our hands, and a lot of our focus has been on that sort of thing. And then when we get to these bigger game-like drills, putting it into a more realistic situation. So. That's been sort of the focus till now. Now it's probably time to translate it into those those scenarios that are like a game. Just on that now with Jesse gone, I mean, how important is it to create that potency, especially kind of with you and Sam? Yeah, well, there's a there's a requirement for us to be better, and there's a there's a hole to fill. Get Jesse kicked a lot of goals, um, provided a target for us. He was a really good option forward of centre. Without him there, we need more people to fill that role. So I expect more from myself. I expect Sam to have a really good year. Joel Smith and Tim Smith both step up and play well. Declan Kildy's playing forward now. So we've got other guys who are going through the position, but there's probably a yeah, there's a bigger expectation on us all to to fill that um, that role, I guess. And certainly you expect more from each other, I guess, given the success that you have had previously. Yeah, yeah, we we expect that. Like I expect myself to get better. Um, I expect that every year, but. It's probably how we function as a group that's more important. Um, but we can only improve as a group if you improve individ individually, and that's what I was saying before about breaking the game right down into small parts for us and what's really specific for us will help us in the, in the long run, I think. Um, rather than just working on generic kicks or generic parts of the game that suit everyone, we're, we're really at the stage now we want to break our game down to how specific we can be and uh, do a lot of that work with Jade Rawlings and Troy Chaplin, Max Rook, and those guys really helping us with those. So we think we're going to see some benefit from that. How's your toe feeling this time of year? I just said it's the best that the toes felt today, uh, but the rest of my body feels horrible, so <laughs> I'm exhausted today. But toe is really good, so I'm, uh, I think I'm a, on the right path. I think it's something I'm going to have to manage for the whole year because if you do a bit too much, you're going to get a bit tender and a bit sore. What I've sort of figured out is it's not a, a serious injury. It's just something you've got to be a little bit careful with and just manage. And if it's getting a bit sore, sometimes just pulling a few things back, back makes a big difference. We saw over the Christmas break one of the, your teammates put on social media yeah, yeah. you sort of doing a, a toe exercise. Is that just maintenance or we, were you worried about it at that time? Or? No, no, I do that stuff every day. Um, we've got a, a foot expert who comes in. Uh, she actually helps as a, as a physio for ballet. And so she gave us lots of uh, really interesting exercises with toes and how to use your feet in ways we don't really think about as footballers. You just sort of chuck a footy on and kick it as hard as you can. But a lot of it's about how to get your foot turned on and I think that's helping a lot of guys like Jack Viney um, I think's turned a corner and he really rates the exercises we're doing and stuff you would never really think about so um, hopefully it leads to some improvement with me in the long term as well. 
And this time of year, like your management with your body, I think you missed um, the first yeah. month of the season last year. How do you think that's sort of going to flow into um, game mode for you? Yeah, it's been, this has probably been the most pre-season I've done in a couple of years. I think for my first six years of my career, I did every pre-season. A couple of years in a row there, I had shoulder and ankle surgeries and was able to play most of the year in those years. But this year probably just had a bit more volume and a bit more continuity, which has been really good. Uh, it's not the be-all and end-all, but I think I'm in a pretty good spot now going into the season that I've done enough work. We always sort of talk about it with some of the coaches. As a, If you've played a few years, you just need to know you've done the, the amount of work you need volume-wise, and then the rest of it's very specific to what you need individually. And so I'm sort of at that stage now. While I'm not old, old, I think I'm figuring out what I need to play at a good level. So it's been really, it's been a good process to go through. Did you Thanks, say Tom. something wrong with Nathan Jones? Uh, just referred pain from his back. So, yeah, yeah, I think he's, he's had a bit of a tight back and sometimes guys with tight backs have sore hammies. Um, he hasn't had a tear or anything, I'm pretty sure is what I've heard, but he just, backs can be a real pain. <laughs> and it, the, when it refers down, you think you've got a bad hammy, but I think it's more, he's just got to get on top of the back and then he'll be all right. So, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Thanks Tom. guys. Appreciate it, mate.